Okay. Now, well, Mary Jane has all this cool. Pampered Chef. They're still. Pampered Chef. And they're so easy to clean. All you do is put hot water in them. And use one of these scrapers, and you can see how everything just scraped off. My husband actually made the most amazing dinner this week. I told him how to do it, but he did it because I was at work and he wasn't. And it was amazing. We had the missionaries over for dinner. And these are the best pans or pots or whatever you want to call them, stones, to cook in. They just do an amazing job of so tell me, tell me what's what are they? The, well, they're stones. Oh, they're made of stone, or is it stoneware? It's the stoneware. It's, um, so it's pottery. It's thick pottery. Yeah, I guess so. But when you cook in them, everything gets evenly cooked. Very evenly cooked. <laughs> you never have to flip your French fries if you put French fries on them. You never have to cook, you never have to flip anything, your chicken wings or your chicken breasts or anything. You just put them on the stone and cook them. And they clean up so fast. And, um, and you want them to get brown like that. Yes, because the browner they are, they brown your food really quickly. And What's really awesome about them is you can take them out of your oven. Now wait, do you oil them? You oil them when you put the very first use, before the first use, you put, um, what do you put? Can I see that? A little flat scraping. But you can see, it will just scrape everything right off. And, uh, you, you, Take a thin layer of, you grease the pan, the pot, the stone, with a thin layer of, of lard, very thin layer, and you put it into a 400 oven, and you cook it for 20 minutes with nothing on it, and that seasons the stone, and then after that, you don't ever have to use anything on them. Um, you can see how this just comes right off, it's awesome. All those guns that you would have trouble getting off any other pan just comes right off. Cleans up really nicely. Um, and the nice thing about them that I was saying before is when you take your stone out of the oven, it will keep your food piping hot for half an hour. It's amazing. I one time I made a lasagna and we were all waiting. I had my family over, my husband's parents, and and we were waiting for our son to come home from his basketball practice. And he was late. I ended up having to drive to the school to pick him up. And I had already taken my lasagna out of the oven. And it was sitting on the table. And when we came back, it was half an hour. And when I cut into the lasagna, the steam came out. Mm. I was like, wow, that's impressive. So you never have to worry about feeding a large crowd and the food going cold. I really like so you don't use any dish soap on it? No. If, it's, if you cook something that's really, really greasy, you can. You can use a bit of soap. But we don't have to. Because it just, it's stone, so it just wipes, wipes clean. The grease doesn't really stay there. And you may think, well, that doesn't really look too clean. But it's, as long as it's the texture of the stone is smooth, We've got everything off, and I would, I have lots of stones, I'll show you my stone collection. I have, whoops. I have these stones. Wait a minute, let me see. Down here. So those are like bar pizza pan, pan pizza, and a flat one for cookies, and then I have my muffin. And this is for great for roasts. I'm going to come on over here. You'll see that I have um, a nice one for a small roast. Is that one in your hand, you mean? Yeah. This is what, oh, this has a glazed top just to make it look pretty. 
but it's just, it is sweet since I haven't used that one as much. This I always make with banana bread drink, and it comes out beautiful. And this is a, one of Do you have to grease it when you put the stuff in? I do for a cake. Mm -hmm. I do put grease in it, uh, but for any kind of dinner. That looks this, like a bread bowl. This one here, you can use it as a bread bowl. You can also use it. I use it. It makes an amazing stew. And it has a lid, which I'll show you. Now, could you put that in a campfire? Um, apparently, you can use it on barbecues. You cannot? You can use it in a barbecue, but I never have. Here's your cake. And this is a small... For just two people, stone, stone, <coughs> stew pot with a lid, and and then if you just if you're one person, there's you do a couple of uh, chicken breasts on that. You can see that's been used a lot. It's amazing for doing bacon. You just put bacon on the pan on the bar pan that was in the cupboard there beside the pizza pans. It's just a long one. It's like this, only big. And you just put your baking strips on, put it in 400, at 400. You don't have to flip the bacon, and it comes out beautiful. It's just... How can you not have to flip I don't know. Stuff. You just don't have to. For some reason, with the stone, you don't have to flip hmm. it. And this is a cake, or I mean a pie plate, stone, and that's the lid for the big bowl when I make stew. Or you can make like a flan or whatever. So I do enjoy my pamper chip. I used to sell it. That's how you got all of the whole set without having to go broke. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. How much would one of those cost? Um I don't know what the prices are now. This the um what? Hi, I'm videoing. Look, there's Michael. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're just trying to get some baking powder. So that we can um make waffles. That was cool, eh? Yes. So how much do you think one of those pieces costs? Um I or think used the, to cost? The bottom one that I first washed out. It's like a lasagna pan, pan. I believe it sells for $45. Okay. Uh, and the pizza pans, I think, are, I don't know. I can't remember. It's been so long. It's probably been like five years since I sold it. But there's a website, pamperchef.com. Yeah, pamperchef.com. Yeah. Okay. So if you want to order it, order it through me because I want the money. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I don't, I'm not a distributor anymore. So well, you I'm heard it here good. last. <laughs> Uh, I, I used to sell it. I loved selling it. It was great. It was a lot of fun, but it got so heavy carrying all the stones. Mm. But, anyways. Okay. Bye-bye.